for somebody who doesn't necessarily even know like the languages or what coding is or whatnot, uh, how would you help them to start that journey? Start somewhere. Like, what is what would they learn first? Would they they dive into a language? What what are they diving into first? Yeah, I almost always recommend that people look at Kaggle first. So Kaggle is the probably the best resource for data science on the entire internet. They have a bunch mm. of free data sets. They have a bunch of free like micro courses. Like the course, the micro courses aren't going to turn you into a data scientist after taking them, but it's enough to get started, no. right? You learn the the foundations of programming, the foundations of math, how to implement these things, and it's enough to get you started working on your own projects. Um, to the kind of earlier question you alluded to, like how do you choose a resource when there are so many? Like first, yeah. I think that it's incredible that there are so many really great resources out there. To me, that is like a powerful thing. It shows that like each learning resource is gonna be a little different because of mm -hmm. who is teaching it. And I really right. recommend that people find teachers that they resonate with. Like the, the goal for the early stages is to just stick with it long enough so it becomes a habit or it becomes something that is just what you do, not something that you're actively trying to do, right? You have to like, you know, it's like, oh, I wanna learn for an hour a day. That's something I just do every day and, and it becomes routine. Uh, right. So I tell people like, you know, I, I have a course on how to break into the field, right? If you don't like how I talk, if you don't like seeing me <laughs> when you turn on the screen, like like don't buy my course, it doesn't make sense. There's plenty of other ones out there. If, if you learn better from like a written medium, like totally mm. fine. There's great GitHub repos out there that you can go through and, and are tutorial style step-by-step, step, right? It, yeah. it, it just go with what you like in the early stages. If you find an uh, instructor that, hey, you, almost every online resource has a little free content and you can get a feel for it, like check it out. Like, you know, yeah. maybe spend two weeks deciding what resource you're going to look into, but set a, a hard time cap to it like read the reviews, talk to people who have taken it, do those types of things, and then just pull the trigger. Like say, hey, I like this one. It seems like it's it's going to be a good fit for me. I can, you know, like I don't, uh, you know, the, the, this guy's hair doesn't bother me. It's not triggering me. <laughs> like, great, sure. Like go straight into it. Uh, to me, that's something Lord. that uh, that I think people put just too way too much focus on choosing the right resource mm. when you know, just because you take one course doesn't mean you don't take another course. Uh, you know, I've taken probably three or four different courses, online certificates, whatever it is, on the exact same material, because yeah. all three of those courses explained it in a different way. It was great, right? I learned the same thing, but I was like, hey, in this one resource, this really resonated with me, how they described it. And this other one, this other algorithm, they explained it better, I think, right? Yeah. And, you know, you don't just like go in and learn this once. You have to continually reinforce this knowledge and it is additive, not not uh, yep. not. It doesn't replace, you know, it's it's not um, substantive. If you enjoyed this clip, here is another clip that you guys will enjoy from the very same segment or watch the full episode over here. With that said, don't forget to subscribe. And with that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.